Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist by Destiny. Today, as always, we will see a simple video. In fact, in this experiment, we'll only use uh, acetone and vanilla sugar. So, uh, these uh, two substances uh, can be found uh, really easily, for example, in supermarkets. Uh, and uh, so, this experiment is accessible to anyone. So, let's see this experiment. So, the procedure for the experiment is uh, the following. First, uh, we are going uh, to take uh, some vanil vanilla sugar and we are going to put two bags, which corresponds to 250 grams of vanilla sugar. Uh, then we are going to add to this uh, sugar uh, 250 milliliters, 30 milliliters of uh, uh, some acetone. After that, uh, we are going to mix it for a bit. So guys, for this experiment, our strategy is to separate uh, banning from sugar and uh, glucose. In fact, uh, these uh, components are both contained in uh, binding sugar. That's why we try to use a solvent that can, uh, uh, that can dissolve vanillin but does not dissolve uh, sucrose and glucose and this solvent is acetone. In fact, when we uh, dissolve it, uh, we just have vanillin in acetone and uh, in this way we separate it from glucose and sucrose. Then uh, we are going uh, uh, to filter this uh, vanilla sugar with acetone and we are going to extract only the acetone. Uh, after that, uh, we should, uh, uh, we should uh, wash two times uh, the vanilla sugar with uh, acetone. First with 230 ml of acetone and then with 80 ml. Uh, then we are going uh, to mix together all the acetone that we have obtained and later uh, we are going to put it in a distillation apparatus in order to boil it away. In this way we are going uh, to leave in our boiling flask only the vanillin and then we are going to take the acetone that is uh, uh, obtained in this way in order to uh, uh, recover it. After that, we use the, the uh, distillation apparatus to separate the acetone that contains vanillin uh, from it, and in fact, we are able to uh, collect vanillin. Also, as we can see, it has a yellow color, and this is because when we have it, our mixture, we have overheated it, and what has happened is that our vanillin from a solid form has become a, a, in a liquid form because of our heat, and in this way it cannot get back to our original form, and so we are only able to get it in a liquid form. But we can be sure that our product is a vanillin because it has a yellow color that is typical of this product, and also its, um, its taste, its odor is the, the one of vanillin.
So guys, as always, the video is over and we want you to know that you can use different solvents. In particular, you just need to find a solvent that is able to dissolve vanillin and uh, that uh, sucrose and glucose are not soluble in it. So you can use uh, also, for example, ethanol and other solvents like methanol or some other uh, that have these properties. So everyone, if you like this video, let us know in the comments. If you want to see more amazing experiments like this, go visit our page and subscribe to it. So that is all. Thanks for watching, guys.